If I'm sketching x to the fourth plus 3x cubed, there's a couple different ways I should think about this. I should factor out a common factor, like they both have an x cubed. So that would leave an x plus 3. If we distribute this, we get x to the fourth plus 3x cubed. So then this tells me that I have x-intercepts at x equals 0 and x equals negative 3. And also that we shoulder at x equals 0 because that factor has a multiplicity of 3. <coughs> Excuse me. So if we were to sketch this, look like this. 1, 2, 3. Okay, we have an x-intercept there. We have an x-intercept there. And this is an up, up in behavior. So it starts up, crosses through, shoulders through, comes up. Okay. The other way to think about this is in terms of the end behavior of each term. So x to the fourth has in behavior up, up, and 3x cubed has in behavior down, up. So you can see that they agree on the right side, which is aligned with our graph because on the right side, the graph just goes up. But on the left, they disagree. On the left, one wants to go up, one wants to go down. So rather than just going straight up, it gets pulled down for a little bit and then comes up. So if we made this 3x cubed bigger, Okay, like for example, if we did like x to the fourth plus 6x cubed, okay, well on the right side, okay, it's still going to go straight up, maybe a little bit or more steep for sure, but then on this side, it's going to come down further, okay? So that's what this coefficient is doing here.